The Swift Programming Language, 5.6 edition, book copyrighted by Apple and made available under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. Extensions. Extensions add new functionality to an existing class, structure, enumeration, or protocol type. This includes the ability to extend types for which you do not have access to the original source code, known as retroactive modeling. Extensions are similar to categories in Objective-C. Unlike Objective-C categories, Swift extensions do not have names. Extensions in Swift can add computed instance properties and computed type properties, define instance methods and type methods, provide new initializers, define subscripts, define and use new nested types, make an existing type conform to a protocol. In Swift, you can even extend a protocol to provide implementations of its requirements or add additional functionality that conforming types can take advantage of. For more details, see Protocol Extensions. Note, extensions can add new functionality to a type, but they cannot override existing functionality. Extension Syntax Declare extensions with the extension keyword. An extension can extend an existing type to make it adopt one or more protocols. To add protocol conformance, you write the protocol names the same way as you write them for a class or structure. Adding protocol conformance in this way is described in adding protocol conformance with an extension. An extension can be used to extend an existing generic type as described in extending a generic type. You can also extend a generic type to conditionally add functionality as described in extensions with the generic where clause. Note. If you define an extension to add new functionality to an existing type, the new functionality will be available on all existing instances of that type, even if they were created before the extension was defined. Computed Properties Extensions can add computed instance properties and computed type properties to existing types. This example adds five computed instance properties to Swift built-in double type to provide basic support for working with distance units. These computed properties express that a double value should be considered as a certain unit of length. Although they are implemented as computed properties, the names of these properties can be appended to a floating point literal value with dot syntax as a way to use that literal value to perform distance conversions. In this example, a double value of 1 is considered to represent 1 meter. This is why the M computed property returns self. The expression 1.m is considered to calculate a double value of 1.0. Other units require some conversion to be expressed as a value measured in meters. 1 kilometer is the same as 1,000 meters, so the km computed property multiplies the value by 1,000 to convert into a number expressed in meters. Similarly, there are 3.28084 feet in a meter, so the foot computed property divides the underlying double value by 3.28084 to convert it from feet to meters. These properties are read-only computed properties, and so they are expressed without the get keyword for brevity. Their return value is of type double and can be used within mathematical calculations whenever a double is accepted. Note, Extensions can add new computed properties, but they cannot add stored properties or add property observers to existing properties. Initializers. Extensions can add new initializers to existing types. This enables you to extend other types to accept your own custom types as initializer parameters or to provide additional initialization options that were not included as part of the type's original implementation. Extensions can add new convenience initializers to a class, but they cannot add new designated initializers or deinitializers to a class. Designated initializers and deinitializers must always be provided by the original class implementation. If you use an extension to add an initializer to a value type that provides default values for all of its stored properties and does not define any custom initializers, you can call the default initializer and memberwise initializer for that value type from within your extension's initializer. This would not be the case if you had written the initializer as part of the value type's original implementation as described in Initializer Delegation for Value Types. 
If you use an extension to add an initializer to a structure that was declared in another module, the new initializer cannot access self until it calls an initializer from the defining module. This example defines a custom rect structure to represent a geometric rectangle. The example also defines two supporting structures called size and point, both of which provide default values of 0.0, .0 for all of their properties. Because the rec structure provides default values for all of its properties, it receives a default initializer and a memberwise initializer automatically as described in default initializers. These initializers can be used to create new rect instances. You can extend the rec structure to provide an additional initializer that takes a specific center point and size. This new initializer starts by calculating an appropriate origin point based on the provided center point and size value. The initializer then calls the structure's automatic memberwise initializer init origin size, which stores the new origin and size values in the appropriate properties. Note, if you provide a new initializer with an extension, you are still responsible for making sure that each instance is fully initialized once the initializer completes. Methods. Extensions can add new instance methods and type methods to existing types. This example adds a new instance method called repetitions to the int type. The repetitions task method takes a single argument of type empty tuple to void, which indicates a function that has no parameters and does not return a value. After defining this extension, you can call the repetitions task method on any integer to perform a task that many number of times. Mutating instance methods. Instance methods added with an extension can also modify or mutate the instance itself. Structure and enumeration methods that modify self or its properties must mark the instance method as mutating, just like mutating methods from an original implementation. This example adds a new mutating method called square to Swift's integer type, which squares the original value. Subscripts. Extensions can add new subscripts to an existing type. This example adds an integer subscript to Swift's built-in int type. This subscript n inside square brackets returns the decimal digit n places in from the right of the number. If the int value does not have enough digits for the requested index, the subscript implementation returns zero as if the number had been padded with zeros on the left. Nested types. Extensions can add new nested types to existing classes, structures, and enumerations. This example adds a new nested enumeration to int. This enumeration, called kind, expresses the kind of number that a particular integer represents. Specifically, it expresses whether the number is negative, zero, or positive. This example also adds a new computed instance property to int, called kind, which returns the appropriate kind enumeration case for that integer. The nested enumeration can now be used with any integer value. This function, print integer kind, takes an input array of integer values and iterates over those values in turn. For each integer in the array, the function returns the kind computed property for that integer and prints an appropriate description. Note, number.kind is already known to be of type int.kind. Because of this, all of the int.kind case values can be written in shorthand form inside the switch statement, such as dot negative rather than int.kind.negative.